maybe my bikinis because you never know, we might go to the beach or even a scarf. If you're wondering where the heck I'm going, well, guys, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just so ready to travel that honestly, I would literally go anywhere. Maybe you had a trip canceled this year and you got one of those airline vouchers that expires next year. Or you got a refund and if you did, you're so lucky because I'm waiting for mine for, uh, it's been, I think, seven months. I'm going to be super quick and I will give you 10 travel ideas in less than 10 minutes. Plus one extra, which I'm sure you never even considered. And if you're wondering why the hell do I have my nose burned in December? Yesterday I was making dinner and I had the oven turned on for like hours and then I opened it and immediately put my face inside and all the hot air blew into my face and uh, yeah, I kind of got my nose burned. It's okay, I don't actually mind being your clown today. Oh my god, I was so rude, I didn't even present myself. My name is Vasi and I like making travel related content and videos from London and if you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe and yes, today is actually actually Tuesday and my nose is wor looking worse than what you actually see in there. And let's start with Europe because I know you guys uh, live in Europe just like me, but I also know that only 30% of you watching this video are subscribed. If you enjoy this type of content and my videos and you continue watching them and you're not subscribed, well, guys, I find it a little bit offensive. And the criteria according to which I will compare every country is, first of all, how safe it is and uh, when is the best time to go, the things that you can do there and why should you of course go there and how expensive it is. And let's start with Europe and the number one country on my list is Malta. And this is actually one of the countries where I'm planning to go next year as soon as uh, borders are open. The country is uh, pretty safe at the moment. For example, yesterday they had only 100 cases and I believe that next year it will be even a safer place to go. And the best time to go is from March until October. Yeah, even though I'm planning to go in February. And the things that you can do there is, first of all, learn about their amazing and rich history, have some delicious food, or you can go to the beach, you can go hiking, and most importantly, it's actually an affordable place too. Canary Islands, and uh, even though mainland Spain has had a lot of cases, actually the Canary Islands have been a lot safer place to visit, and this is mostly due to the fact that they are so far away from uh, the mainland, and they're actually closer to Africa and they have uh, great weather pretty much all year round and you can go there anywhere from April until October and you can enjoy the sun, you can go snorkeling, you can go diving or just enjoy the delicious Spanish food and one of the best reasons about it is that it's very affordable. There is actually so much more to explore than La Gran Canaria and their seven islands. And I want to take you guys with me and uh, see the not so well known islands like Fuerteventura or uh, the other side of Lanzarote. Number three. Denmark and the country actually has one of the smallest number of COVID cases per 1 million people and to be honest with you we went there with Ben last year and there is so much space that it felt like there is social distancing even when there wasn't COVID and you can actually go there uh, all year round and you will just enjoy it in a different way. We went there in January and it was still amazing because there are so so many museums to visit, art galleries that are also free and uh, design studios and of course beautiful landscapes. In terms of the price, unfortunately it's more on the pricey side. Just to compare, I feel like prices were pretty much as in London. Number four, my very, very beloved Greece. And even though the country at the moment is in lockdown, of course it's expected to get out of it until next year. Last summer they were 
testing people when entering into the country. Best time to go is uh, anywhere from April, May until October. If you're not sure actually where to go, make sure to watch my videos. I have some amazing ideas for you if you're going there in spring or in autumn. Reasons why you should go there, of course, are weather, the amazing beaches, food, rich history. Unless you don't go to the super famous uh, places like Mykonos or Santorini. The rest of the places are actually uh, very affordable. Lastly, from Europe, I have for you Slovenia. Even though you can go there at the moment, I'm pretty positive that the country will reopen for tourism. I'm pretty sure you have already seen this photo of Lake Bled, which kind of went viral. But there are actually many more reasons on why you should go. You can go there skiing in winter. You can do extreme sports in summer. For uh, the ones of you who are big lovers of the mountains and nature, I want to tell you that half of the country is actually covered with trees. And in terms of prices, the country is actually not as cheap as you might expect it to be. On an average day, you should expect to pay uh, around 75 euros. But of course, if you're going to ski resorts, this price would go up. Now, let's move into Asia because I'm such an optimist that I still believe that at some point next year we'll be able to travel also to other continents and number one on my personal list and which of course I suggest to you is Cambodia and why it's because it actually has one of the lowest rates of coronavirus and I think it's a very safe place and or it will be until next year and for example yesterday they had only one case of COVID and I'm actually checking this while I'm speaking to you. And you can actually go there all year round because of the amazing weather. And this is also a reason why you should go is of course the rich history, the amazing beaches, the incredible wildlife and oh my God, did I even say food? In terms of prices, it's actually very cheap, especially compared to the Western world. Japan. Japan is actually one of the safest countries to visit at the moment. So I am sure that until next year, they will have everything under control and the best time to go i think it's spring because i'm pretty sure all of you have seen instagram and have seen this super beautiful blossoming cherries but of course you can go there uh, all year round and you will have an amazing experience and you can also taste their great cuisine visit some temples and gardens and honestly i would go there just to encounter such a different culture culture and uh, meet Japanese people. And in terms of prices, it's actually more on the pricey side. Vietnam. And uh, the country seems to have uh, COVID under control and it looks like a safe place to travel to even now. The best time to go is actually from December until February when temperatures are milder and uh, also rain is minimal. And on the reasons why should you go there is first of all for me is street food and those incredible floating markets uh, and the hospitality of people, learn about their rich history and enjoy the weather and the amazing beaches. In terms of prices, it's actually very affordable. If you find this information useful and you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe. And moving to Oceania, my only suggestion for you is New Zealand. And the reasons for that is that the country is very safe and uh, actually everyone gets tested at their arrival. Best time to go is anywhere from September until November when it's actually spring or otherwise you can go anywhere from December until February when it's summer for them. The reasons on why you should go it's uh, the amazing nature and if you love the mountains, you love hiking, you or you love extreme sports, this is the place for you. In terms of prices though, please keep in mind that uh, it's more on the pricey side and uh, you should expect to pay an average of $128 per day. And the hardest decision which I had to make is choose only one place from North and South America. But my suggestion for you is the Bahamas, which is nothing new. I'm sure you have all seen this 
beautiful beaches and uh, you know how great are the Caribbeans but the reason why I suggest it to you it's because of the low cases of COVID it's very safe place at the moment but you also have to provide a negative test when entering the country and the best time to go is from mid-December <clears throat> guys very soon so keep this in mind until April and the reasons on why you should go there are of course the crystal clear water the amazing marine life you can also go scuba diving or explore the local culture which if you go there please make sure you do it and did you actually know that the name Bahamas comes from the Spanish word of Baja Mar which means shallow water or sea and for the biggest travel lovers and lovers of wildlife I have for you Antarctica guys I find it so mind-blowing did you even know that you could go there and uh, they're already organizing tours of 14 days which <clears throat> are quite expensive just FYI but you can step foot into the continent which is just and guys, I honestly hope you enjoyed this video, you find it useful and let me know in the comments down below what are your plans for next year. Have you already planned some trips? Do you have something in mind? Please let me know. I would love to talk about traveling with you. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more travel related content, don't forget to subscribe. I love you all from the bottom of my heart and I'm super grateful from everyone. Love you loads. Bye.